hi guys my name is Mitz and I'm going to show you how to resize your photos and pictures so you can email them or upload them to websites or stuff like that um, because if you try to send big pictures through the email it takes forever to go through okay um, so most of our cameras nowadays they um, they're absolutely huge heavy pictures um, they're like 4,000 kilobytes when they could be under a hundred or something like that so okay I'm going to show you how to do it so the first thing we need is Picasa which is Google's free program okay so I went to Google and I searched for it I just typed in download free Picasa and the first thing that comes up is this which is Picasa 3 free download from Google I'm just going to quickly show you how to do it. Um, all you have to do is press on this button here. Okay. Um, now it says for Windows XP and Windows Vista and Windows 7. So just click on that one, grab it, and install it straight away. Um, if you don't know how to install a program, basically you just go next, 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 yes, blah, blah, blah and it should put an icon on your desktop so you can um, start it up straight away okay so we're going to close that now because I've already downloaded that program and I've got it open down the bottom here which I'm just gonna check out where it is where is it there it is Picasa now when you open it up it goes to your library of pictures it finds all your pictures on your computer which is great because sometimes you've got pictures in weird places and you don't even know they're there now if it doesn't come to your library okay let's go to the view um, section up here and just press on library view and it will show you all your pictures and then you can scroll through now I can scroll through but I'm not going to because I don't want to show you all my pictures I'm gonna just go to these pictures here and I'm going to show you how I'm going to resize them now all I have to do right is hold the control key down on my keyboard and click on the pictures I want to resize because I want to do more than one at a time so I've got the control key down on the keyboard and I'm clicking some pictures now as I'm clicking the pictures they're being added down here I'll just show you another one see how they're being added down the bottom there right these are all the pictures that I'm going to resize okay so now I'm going to press on the export folder just here and this is coming up okay guys now this folder um, well this um, box comes up and it wants to tell you where they're taking the photos to and what to resize it to and you can pull it down or up or whatever make them smaller if you like um, 800 pixels is um, the width of it okay so it's it's a pretty reasonable size if that doesn't suit you then you can come back and do it again because um, it's not actually changing the original picture um, image quality automatic or you can go up to maximum and stuff like that um, you can add a watermark to them to protect them if you like and also you can just choose which folder you want them to go in so I'm going to press on browse and go in and choose my own folder just so I can show you how to do it so I'm going into mitts which is my username pictures and in the pictures it's got Picasa there so I'm going to go in there and then I'm going to make a new folder and just type in resized okay and now I'm going to press OK okay so it's changed my folder there it is there resized free stuff okay and it's going to change it all to 800 pixels so let's press export and well it was so quick so now it's opened up the folder here mitts pictures Picasa resized okay so now if I just mouse over it's a hundred and twenty eight kilobytes for that picture 
which is the um, the one with the ice and stuff. So let's go down here and um, I'll just deselect some of those pictures. Right, let's see how the properties, if I right click on this picture and press properties, um, this picture was 692 kilobytes and we just reduced it to 120 something or whatever. So you can see the big difference in it. Um, of course if you want to keep the quality and stuff like that um, you do have to send it in its original state but um, yeah if you just want to send a picture to show someone or to put it on the internet or something like that then you do need to resize it and make it smaller alright thanks for watching hey guys make sure you subscribe to my video channel and also see the arrows up the top press subscribe and also go and visit my website at www.tipsforpc.com it is fantastic. Go and check it out.